You're listening to Sight and Common, where we talk about it all, not just Dungeons and Dragons. I'm AJ Cannon. Seth Templin. Tyro Merle. And I'm last, and I'm Dustin. All right. And, oh, yeah, I forgot we were going to maybe wait for Anthony, but oh, well. uh, Anthony Tate will probably be here yeah, in a minute. Yeah, probably. Um, and this episode and every episode is brought to you by Tiger School RPG. Tiger School! Um, go check them out at TigerSchoolRPG.com um, and use our code COMMONERS30 for 30% off everything in the store. Oh, we do still have that? We I was meant to that. ask you, because I heard there was another thing, uh, Stellaris or something. Or something. No, so it was Polaris. Co- Polaris. That that was just a different code. I hollered out last time because he had told me that on my mini factory he had another sale going over there. Gotcha. So okay. uh, anyway, go check him out on Instagram and go to his link tree. See what all Tiger Skull RPG has to offer. He's working on a video game right now. Anyway, thanks to Tiger Skull RPG. Also, before we get started, might as well mention to you that uh, you can follow us on Instagram and Facebook at The Commoners Official, and uh, on YouTube we're The Commoners. We got some cool stuff on there that not many people have watched yet. But if you have watched it, tell your friends. And uh, then you can follow us on Twitch, twitch.tv slash commoners of DND with an N. Uh, we do streams on Monday and Friday at 7, usually. When we can. When we can. We're busy adults. Friday, but, Friday became tough for me, but eventually I'll get things cleared up and we'll be good. Yeah, but follow us on Instagram because I always post when we're going to stream. We try to post that afternoon uh, so you'll know when we are going to stream. Uh, but we've been having some fun over there, and then me and Seth talked last night and downloaded some new games that maybe we can play. Dead by Daylight, um, uh, Death Loop, Death Loop, all free. Death Loop is a single player game, isn't it? No, you can play with two. You can play with two. Play two online. Because so I think you can be the person main. hunting the guy, and you can be the guy. Cool. Oh, is that how it's gonna go? Mm-hmm. Oh, okay, I thought it was co-op. So it's, co-op, so it's head to head. Yeah, it's head to head. It's not co-op. That's cool. Oh, yeah, okay. There's a lot about this game I don't know. Yeah, I, I, I'm just gonna I, have to play it to see what it it's just like. looked good. I, I, I mean, think it was at the last E3 we had in 2019. I thought it looked like Infinite, Infamous, or something like that. It was, yeah. Or that other game. What was that new one that came Dishonored, out? Dishonored, or uh, it's from the creators of Dis- Dishonored. Dishonored yeah, yeah. There was that game. What was that game? It I may not even be out wrong. yet. It's like a Japanese, you're in Tokyo or something. and horror Tokyo game? Wire. Yeah, it's a horror game. That's, a, that's Ghostwire. Ghostwire. Ghost it looked yeah. kind of like that, too. There's like, and it reminded me of uh, like Bioshock. Ghost, it's like Ghost where there's Wire? like kind of like weird magic involved. Ghostwire came out. I never heard anything about it. But it oh, did it really come good. out? I think it's out. I believe it's out. I think it's out now. It did not look impressive to me. I, I thought it was cool. I didn't Japanese think it horror. Is, I thought is, it was a cool idea. But. It's very different than Western horror, but it, that doesn't mean it's not scary or interesting. It's just different. They have a very you can tell you can definitely see like the cultural like divide where ours our horror developed more from like slasher films and stuff, whereas theirs come from like you know deep seated mythology on just freaky stuff. Yeah, that is true. They got yeah. some scary stuff, like <laughs> things that would be completely ordinary. It's just like just like little like they they, they have a lot of horror with like little kids. Um, yeah, I think that's where that comes from. Mm-hmm. Japanese. Um anywho, keeping it common. We got a, probably a lot to talk about even though not a whole lot happened in the last episode. It was a combat, but I the best thing about it is it's a story-driven combat. There was a lot at stake. Yep. There was a death First death of the campaign. Thren got out. There's, over, just a, there's a lot to talk about yeah. here, I think. So. Over 30 episodes without a death. is I, I think that's pretty impressive. Is it really? Tyrell has a lot to talk about. <laughs> Which he hates because he hates talking. <laughs> didn't uh, campaign one critical role, didn't nobody die? Nobody. Uh, no, they died multiple multiple times. But They were they just, just so high level. Always, the only significant death, I believe, Seth can double check me on this, but was Vax. Or Va- Va- Vax. The male... Yeah, which which, which he died life. like four times. No, no, no. The, he, he, so his resurrection was... Um, conditional. His conditional, mm-hmm. and it was beating the big bad. But he still died four times. Yeah. Like and three times after the they, original death. I believe they all died. At waking least. up in the woods naked and having to come back. Uh, yeah, they all died at least once, I think Seth told me about. And the dumbest one is Mauritius. Marisha definitely died. They might have... Marisha's death uh, was the stupid weird gods turned into Pike, a goldfish. Pike might not have died. <laughs> Pike isn't there enough to die. Right. But Talison and... Scanlan both died when they fought. Uh, I know Scanlan green, died because yeah, that's that when was he left. one of the best role play moments mm-hmm. of the game. I watched that just last week. Yeah, like was, I just was like, I want to watch amazing. that again. It's completely yeah. amazing. But yeah, I think they all died except for Pike, maybe. Yeah, 
And she was like, what, 17 when the game ended? Yeah. She was three levels down because Matt was actually awarding experience for their first campaign. I I, that kind of, I, I want to do the next I, campaign on experience. I, I don't think. think he awarded, the, I don't would think he it, does experience anymore. Would it not take even longer? Oh, it'd take a lot longer. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's hard because it's like, oh, this creature awards 2,000 experience with all the ads and all the story driven stuff that happened yeah. divided by seven. Yeah. <laughs> If you just said this creature awards experience, it doesn't matter the party size, then you would level up as fast as we are. Yeah. Basically, our experience is, is being – we basically are grouping our experience as if we're, we're like two players basically. Yeah. I feel bad about how much I level y'all up. I don't, I don't care because I don't have I, – I gave you a very large list of gear that I would rather have than have levels. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, it's just if you have an end game – so, I mean, you have already kind of in mind where we need to be for a yeah. certain thing. So I, the way I feel, like I feel like if we don't hurry up and finish this campaign, we might not ever. But if we finish this campaign and we're still like, we want to keep playing and we want to keep doing it. If we lose a few people, maybe like they don't like after they the, this story finished, they don't really feel interested in starting another story. It might would be okay to slow it down. But yeah, right now it just feels like I, I'm afraid we've just got to go, 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 go. <laughs> I mean. I, don't I was very like, excited for the last episode. Do you think we're halfway there? Uh, I mean, there's only 20 levels. Y'all are level 10, so. Yeah, but I mean, you could slow. I mean, I think now that we're higher level, you could slow it, should, it down. You're right, but also, I mean, it, that's not. Story I think wise, y'all leveled I don't feel up like, faster recently than y'all were from the lower levels, so. It, 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 uh, not really. It's hard know. to argue that because we also fought a lot stronger stuff. Well, not only that, but um, there was also bigger gaps between playing. Right. Like, there was a time when we started off where we would play once every two months. I think I, me and AJ talked about this on, on uh, streaming. But I, like, went through it one time, and there was, there was times where we would play where, – where it was playing once every two months – because um, y'all very quickly lost your lead because of COVID. Mm-hmm. So y'all's lead was basically thrown away by the fact that and everyone was affected. Pregnancy stuff. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, it was. Yeah, we had some big gaps in there. We've yeah. been way more consistent lately. Yeah. yeah, yeah. There's there's been a lot more consistency in the last year and a half the, than, the, than, than the entire. The thing. nursing home helped with that. Oh like, God, yeah. The nursing home. Yeah. I say nursing. It was not a nursing. The retirement. Home. It was a, It was a, home, It was yeah. where we retired to play D and D. No, that definitely helped because helped we had to put it on a calendar, and yeah. I think we're just going to stick with that thing. We're like, still kind of doing that, yeah. which we have to. Like, I I already know. Like oh, next man. month, I have, October's busy for I me. I have three shows out, mm-hmm. out of four weekends in October, yep. so like we have to kind of schedule it pretty far out, or yeah. it's just not going to happen. <laughs> and there's which no reason might. why we shouldn't be able to do that. Yeah, we, all we might know. have to do a Friday or something. I mean, I, I mean, I can do it. It's just how we have to play. Cameron a might not would be able to do a Friday. I don't know. Not now. I didn't know he got a job, but yeah. yeah so we'll have to have to have him talk about that sometime if he ever wants to do it. Oh, yeah, I, I know I can't play a, a Saturday in October. Not a single Saturday. I got. Well, I mean, like next Saturday. I th- and I I don't think I have anything next Saturday, but I have. Which that's not October. Yet. I have a show the eighth. Oh, it is. Yeah. It's the first. I have a show the eighth. I have a show. I actually could. The fifteenth. I have a show the twenty second, and then I have a wedding the twenty ninth. Yeah. Wow, an October wedding. That's going to be cool. Are they theming it? I don't know. You should ask. Halloween-themed wedding. Halloween-themed wedding. Hey, I have nothing against that. I love Halloween. My favorite holiday. Anywho. It's the, um, one time in the, the one time in the year where it's okay to be somebody else. Which, <laughs> just enough. So what... What's the first order of business as far as campaign? I don't know really what to talk I about. I mean, we started off the game. Y'all were already, like, saw... Y'all were seen by Grelka when we two episodes ago so i mean we just rolled for initiative right away um yeah i would like it was it was an exciting foot combat a lot lot went on it was really i was really like i i apparently rightfully so i was worried about it like i i knew it was going to be tough because that thing told me it was a deadly encounter well those ability the 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 loss of turns is huge daggum invisibility it it didn't even hurt y'all bad though because everything was too far away from y'all to take advantage of it hurt me bad because i was just completely i I didn't compete in the combat Uh, i did the urus didn't either hardly urus was out for a long time so yeah me and him were both out i think the most he did was waking people back up me being one of them because i would have been i wouldn't have even i also want to know because i don't know anything about urus class like I is, don't <laughs> is he weak combat wise? 
He is because he dealt damage a few times, but he didn't. It wasn't see, a lot. Of he damage. used to use charisma for a, for a modifier, and that was a plus five. Hundred percent Cameron's fault. What happened? And yeah, then well, yeah, by switching, like he he wanted to keep his charisma modifier, but it made no sense with the new class that he yeah, had. Yeah, the only reason he had charisma he was because 12 of twelve strength. So now he's doing plus so, one. Well, what about like on Cam- like on spell casting though? Cameron's class has become a no, really crappy jack of all trades. Okay. Because and that that might be fine. And honestly, I have something sad to say when we get to it about that. But um, okay. but uh, no, his spell casting should be fine. Because does still, he still use charisma? Still charisma. The yeah. Because okay. he's a sorcerer and a warlock. The so. problem is, is he wants to now do smithing, which is strength based, and he wants to run into combat like another spellcaster we know, which is also <laughs> strength based. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Two dishes. But I mean, yeah, he might just be more of a like. You gotta utility. spread the love. Might just because originally he did a lot of damage. I mean, Urus was a big damage guy. I can't help the type of wizard that I picked. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's what they. You could have. You could have helped it. You can't now. <laughs> no, no. You it, have a good wizard. Wizards have so much in their toolkit. They can always step back, reflect, and change their entire class. I, like this could be a like result. Like you can't obviously you can't change. The I kind of agree with that because so many of like. Looking at the, I hate all of the subclasses for wizards. Like I do too. I hate all the colleges. So honestly, for s- the songblade thing, just having a buff to your AC and then just still standing back and casting spells. I mean, still pretty good. Yeah, yeah I mean, I like that. It's just it doesn't give you spell bonus stuff like you would if you were abjuration or conjuration. Like, is that just all okay? Spellblade was was Wizards of the Coast saying everyone wants to be Darth freaking Maul, so let's give them a Darth Maul class. <laughs> <laughs> uh. I mean, I really like it. The, you know, you get like the buff to your AC. You get like advantage on acrobatics checks. You get, I think it's plus ten. Do you have ten. Revenant Blade too for the the dual blade? Nah, actually, you have to have one hand free for spell casting with that class. Not if you take. Well, it's a feat intensive thing, but you can also grab. Uh, there's another class that allows you to use your weapon as a focus. Uh, as a spell casting focus. Oh, okay. Yeah. I got. Oh yeah, that seems like that should that should be. It seems like that should be a bonus of that class. Yeah. Well, technically, yeah. I got to get a shield then if I had that feat. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That'd... Oh, that that actually just grab that feat. Yeah, that actually make a big, big, big difference. I, I, I big love consideration Thren. for you for level twelve. I think Thran is a really cool yeah. class. I like, yeah, I like, oh, yeah, I, I like Thran's character a lot. He just he doesn't need to. He needs to be smarter about how he like. You can run up in there if you'd have but taken. Just, mobile, but that wasn't even your problem, was it? Like you weren't going down a lot. No, you no, just, it wasn't like, that. It's just I like, think you got frustrated because you like you forgot how many spell slots you had a couple times. Well, I remember that like when that. we were in the swamp and we fought the bird. But Birds. I think part of that was and that it was combat and then stuff happening and then you just didn't know yeah. because of a three month time period. Yeah, or six well, month time we needed to get well, you a I spell cast, tracker. I cast fly. I remember, and I was trying to cast it on. Or casting enough for Buck to go fly hey, with listen, it as well, and then I was, you yeah. making that one mistake on a spell that didn't really change anything has nothing on Anthony using Great Weapon Master. Oh my god! This entire campaign without see? ever having a great weapon. Yeah, not even a club or a great club. Yeah. Whatever he's called, he had is, a great club originally. It's not a heavy weapon, actually. A great club's not. I looked it up. I put I mean, so the, did y'all see the spreadsheet that I created for everybody? The the little PD, the, the Google oh, yeah, slide. I, looked, yeah. I went ahead and stuck in there for Anthony heavy weapon, and then I put in parentheses everything classified as a heavy weapon. I mean, that's not technically cheating. Yes, it is. Yes, it's big time. It's, it's a great weapon. He doesn't master. have a shield. All or those anything. plus tens that he had, he should never yeah. have gotten. The theory behind great weapon master is you have a weapon that's so heavy, you bring it down with extra force. That's where the loss to hit is because you're not being accurate. You're hitting hard. Yeah, well, he's still taking the loss to hit. That's true. It's just it's a, with a weapon that does less damage. I guess. I was. I don't know. It's just it's, funny that we've gotten it wrong this entire yeah, game. Yeah, it's, it's not just a, once been. I wrong. didn't. Yeah, I don't manage other people's equipment. Yeah, I don't so. either. I never really paid attention. It's to what just you so use. funny because this all started because I was listening to the last game, and he t- he says his damage is a D eight. I'm like, wait a minute. Why it is should he? be a D twelve? Because I, I was trying. Like, I need to give. He, he's like, I don't have a magic weapon. At the end of the combat, he's like, I don't have a magic weapon, so all this sh- it shouldn't even been doing full damage, and you know. But then he's like, I'm doing a D eight, and I was like, I need to give him a new weapon. Wait. Great weapon. What is he talking about? I texted AJ. I was like, do you know what he's using? And you didn't know. And then I texted Tay. I was like, what are you using? I didn't know you had to have a great weapon. Yeah. You have to have a heavy weapon. Actually, heavy. Gillard can take it. I was planning on it. But when he took it, I was like, I don't need it. And I don't really like the loss of accuracy. So I, I don't see why you can't use any weapon you want with that. 
because it's powerful. It's supposed to limit the selection pool. Just like, mm-hmm. like imagine if you could. It just It should get, limit you to a two handed weapon, but but that's but, what he has. Isn't but it? imagine if you could just it's get a like weapon. a hand crossbow and take spell sniper and just blast someone for thirty damage with a hand crossbow that can now go sixty feet unimpeded and yeah. then just boom blast someone. It's it gives because weapons aren't like there's weapons aren't like spells. They're not really investment. They're just character asking right. the DM and doing it. So any character can have any of them, whereas with spells, there's a level specific investment where you have to wait till a certain point where you can grab it. You have to take a class capable of getting it or a feat capable of getting it. There's investment on the player ahead of time. Whereas weapons it's just like um if I take what great weapon master this feat, I can ask my DM for uh, for a sword, and then I'm going to blast someone's head off with it just because whatever reason. Now, I will say, I was that's what I was going to say. I, I was, but it doesn't do harm. I mean, like, the, o- the only thing you're forfeiting, if you're, if you're going to use Great Weapon Master and you have to use a heavy weapon, that means it has to be two-handed, right? No, no, it has to have the heavy feet, but I think all the heavy weapons have well, two-handed. Well, I mean, I mean, what Rudy does that... Huh? What does that do bad for having a it's heavy weapon? It's just the rule. It means you it's can't. Just, it, I mean, it's supposed but to. But there's. It's not cheating though, because it didn't. It was no advantage. Right. It, there's no. It was actually really a disadvantage. Does he, he actually have a shield? Doing, no, he doesn't even use a shield. No. If he had a shield, then he would be having. He would have a higher AC with the additional weapon that well, obviously. If he was use. using, like, why was he not even using it two handed though? He was. Was he? No. Was he rolling a D10. a D10 or a D8? That's a D10. And if Seth is saying he heard him say D8, that's one I hand. I swear, he, he, I think he's rolling D10s. I, I watched him roll a lot the of The point is, a, a great a great axe, which is the only heavy weapon axe, is a D12. Like, that's not a, it's not too big a deal. Like, Ryan is actually giving me, a, like, a heavy one-handed weapon. He gave Cameron one, like, he gave him a heavy rapier. Yeah. Yeah. Like, it it's took a minus rapier. to hit, like, by minus two, but it did a little bit more damage, like a D4 extra damage. Okay. So, I mean, it's cool. You can you can give any item. That's true. I mean, you could you can you can make anything. You can homebrew anything. Technically, yeah, it's just the heavy flavoring. So if he had a heavy battle axe, right? And you know what? We can just say that his battle axe was heavy. Who cares? Yeah. You know? Yeah. He has he has an obsidian battle axe. Which it's a battle axe or it's a war axe. What's uh, same a war thing. axe is small? A great axe is the one you're great thinking. Axe. Great axe is the great axe is big. Yeah, but I'm thinking like battle axe, war axe, the same thing. Hand okay. axe. Is the because the hand axe would be it, small, it's okay. also throwing too. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Uh, what is that? Finesse is that what it is that you throw? Uh, throws strength, no, or finesse. Just throw. Just yeah. throw. Okay. throw is both. You get throw is javelin's the same way, yeah. You can do you, you can, can use can, strength or deck, it's to give strength characters ranged weapons. Finesse is for like rogues, right? That's mm-hmm. like for sneak it's, attack and it's dexterity based, it's yeah, not really any yeah. class, yeah. yeah. Now, so the very first round though, something interesting happened because I put Thren at the bottom of the uh, of the list, you know, on the on the uh, initiative chart. Yeah, take us through this set. Okay, like I said, this whole thing, I said this last time on Satan Common, was so that we could say the word vampire right here <laughs> on Satan Common. Because I was like, we're just gonna we're we're just gonna catch up with Thren and just everyone's gonna really finally know, you know, not in character, but everyone will know just how deep in the mud Thren really is. Like he's being controlled, he can't help himself, like nothing I mean you can't use that in game, but you'll. you'll I can't know. wait to like, interact. Well, you made. But, I can't wait to interact. With him. <laughs> but what happened is you made the you made the mistake of letting him wake up. Yeah. And we and you killed Corvus too early ah. because if Corvus had still been alive, he would not have been sitting over there flipping through his book Bruh. trying to figure out what he could do. <laughs> now, if I find a pillow in an open window, I, <laughs> that's exactly what I did. Actually, I was I was flipping through there. I was like. We're getting ahead of ourselves. How, how, yeah, how, how am I going to get out of there? I, I was I was so excited about. It. Go yeah, ahead, Seth. But yeah, uh, so the so the whole thing was just like yeah, we're gonna talk about vampires now. We can finally. It's not gonna be a, a quote unquote secret. I mean, worst kept secret ever. I was gonna say I, I like Thrin waking up because theoretically elves are very hard to charm. See what I thought might yeah, would happen. What they I thought might would happen was he might like send send use sending or something. Be like, hey Can guys, you, could you use sending? I don't know. See, I that's what I said. I don't know if it has a component. Yeah. yeah. I so I was just I like, he might be able to just get a message to y'all, like, y'all, I'm in trouble. Like, I can't, yeah. I, I don't know the last, where y'all at? And stuff like that. Um, that's That was my big dreams of it, you know, that he might be able to send a message to y'all and be like, hey, I'm not okay, what's going on? It requires a short piece of fine copper wire. And, you know, you can just pull out that out of a pillow. Yeah. You might pull it pull out of a sofa. Right out of- Pull that right out of her ball. He's gonna punch. Pull that out of a sofa. He's gonna punch through the drywall and rip a piece of wire. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> so then, you know, y'all thought that he was about to come fight. Like, yeah. Oh, I did. Or y'all acted like it. So I didn't people acted like it on the podcast, yeah. like, looking for him, like, but acting like no the way. table was right on the dais up above. Actually, that's yeah. what I was thinking at first is that it's like, oh, God, Bathory's here. We're screwed. No, they weren't in there. I never no. thought that. I it knew was, it was Yeah, else. it was just to kind of catch up with Thren and gotcha. talk about vampires and, like... I think well, once stuff. you had the he's in the castle and I was like well we're definitely not in the castle yeah. so I yeah. was like okay uh, and then let's see um, the Alps went invisible and I immediately I wanted to ask you their hypnotic pattern and whatever else they were doing those saving throws did they burn all that early yeah. So yeah. you okay? Because you did cast. it one time a little bit later, and then that well, was well. That it. was because there was three, and one of them was further back. So and it took it a couple more rounds like to get one, up there. One slot for it. Okay. Yeah. We we always grouped ourselves very. They had very two stupid. spells they could cast: invis- greater invisibility and hypnotic pattern. There might have been another and um, ga- ga- a gaseous form or whatever. Right. Yeah, they turned to a mist. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So the, like those were the only three things, only spells they could cast. So, I mean, they go greater invisibility because they, I mean, why would you not if you can do it? And then trying to stop y'all and get some pot shots on with a uh, hypnotic pattern. And, I mean, big area can get a couple of y'all at the same time. So, I mean, that was what they were planning. I They were just too far away to really take advantage of y'all all being stunned. Yeah. Um, but it kept. It but kept they all forward. failed their wisdom save because Rast just immediately ran 90 feet. Yeah. And gets attacked by Grelka. And just as gets bloody, and as soon as they can smell blood, they is that conditional on half health? Like, no, it's just no, if just, you get attacked. If anything that's not full health. It, oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That's in their text. In their text, yeah. Wow. They smell blood if on. And it just creatures. happened to be Rask was the only one hurt for a while. For a while, yeah. yeah. And then he ran away from him. He was able to get away from him, but Corvus was hurt right next to him, so they just go to the next. Yeah. I mean, kind of like sharks, frenzy feeding yeah. is the way I So, it. So explain to anybody that didn't know the mechanics of the character why it was so crucial when, when Buck got Rask up and then how Corvus died. Okay, so yeah, I thought. So y'all hear me freak out on the game. Like I'm, like, I'm looking at the list of people. I'm like, oh, they're running out of people. <laughs> and I'm like, two of them's already down. Groka's definitely going to keep attacking Rask because, I mean, he was horrible to her. Yeah. Yeah. Like, that's just that's just vengeance. But these are just wild animals hungry for blood and getting the blood that they want. <clears throat> so, like, I thought in the next round, I because, I, I mean, they all have multi-attacks. And, which is an auto crit. Which is an auto crit. So you, it, if one attack will be fine, that's two failed losses. But then two, that's four. And that's that's over three. So you're dead with two attacks. So... Yeah, I thought we're about to kill Rask, we're about to kill Corvus within just, they were, there was like two people in between them or something at the top of the round. So I thought it was going to be quick. But then Buck got over to Corvus and... No, to Rask. No, him first. He I, went down I, first I, oh, and okay, got healed okay. with a potion. Yeah. I, wait, I, I healed Corvus at once too. He got healed twice. Oh, so we brought Corvus back twice. Yeah. Yeah. Rask got brought back once and was able to stay up. Yep. Yeah. Um, I mean, what could we have done? Um, as a DM, I kind of killed Corvus a, a while back ago, I guess, when I when Cameron did all of his changes because he was taking spells that Tate was looking forward to taking, like Revivify. But Tate can't get Revivify because he took five levels of fighter. Because it, so, And I told him, no, you don't need to be stepping on his toes that much. So I told Cameron not to take some of these spells. And those spells could... I mean, healing word. I banned it. Like I I banned it a long time ago, but I, I banned it again that night. Tate had it. It could have wor- it could have saved him. Yeah. So I killed Corvus a long time ago with the one ban of a spell that I've had, I, and then telling uh, Ryan or telling Cameron not to step on I Tate's toes. I completely too much. agree with you. I don't like Cameron's direction at all, oh, well, yeah. well, or lack thereof. But yeah, I don't. I, I don't disagree with anything you've done at all. So I'm sorry for that because I, if he had revivify, you'd be alive right now, Corvus. And if I hadn't banned, I mean. We'd have. I could have healing word. You could have healing word, and so could Ryan, Ryan. or cure wounds. Maybe he might not be able to have. Healing he could word. definitely have. Cure we could have cure wounds for sure. No, we could all take a feat and grab. If healing word is second level or first level. It's first level. Yeah, we could all grab healing word. If that's the case. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> you know, so for 
I, I think that my decisions make sense story-wise. I feel bad that it affected Corvus dying because it definitely did. I mean, but that that would have been true if Rask had died. That would have been true if any That's of true. us had. If Rask hadn't have got, if he if she'd have missed Rask, they would have probably moved towards the back of the group where there's more people and let yeah. her deal. See, with they, it. yeah, they were. They headed could have to the killed group. any of us. They were headed to the main group, and then they smelled the blood, so they had to run backwards. Right. Yeah. No, you played it right, and like Corvus just couldn't get. What what could have you what could you have done different besides just like retreating it, and running I think away? if I recall correctly, like during the time that I got up those two times, I think I didn't have another round come up before they attacked me again, if I'm recalling correctly. You had one round. One round. I think. If I would have thought at the time I would just use Actually it. you might not have because well, I rolled a death saving throw for you one time. Yeah. So I'm you might sure. that might have I think he got up. Ah. Hush bell. Come in. Ah. Come oh, in. he probably needs help. Oh the ah. soup. Bella, shut up. We forgot. Who locked the door? Locked it? No, he just didn't have he he didn't have a hand. Oh. Well it had to have been you then. Yeah, I just walked I just walked in. I didn't lock anything, I didn't touch anything. That's weird. That is weird. So a little bit of it's still down. How dare you? You need to like it doesn't matter, does it? You need to put that back on the stove or anything? Huh? You need to put that back on the stove or anything? Well, that's what happens when you transport a liquid. Come sit down. We're, we're say, hold on, hold on. Uh, wait, is he here or there? It doesn't matter. Okay, they're both live, though? Everything's live. recording, so. Okay. Tate has entered the building. So what were we saying? Uh, Tate's entered the building. Uh, we're with talking Shirley. about... To, uh, yeah, you might not have had a turn, because I did roll a death save. I, I feel like we got him up, and then before his turn, he went back down. That's what I'm I thinking. Think. But you know, I was going to say, if I would have had a turn to do something, I would have used my bonus action to teleport again away further. Very and far. you could just throw your knife and yeah. teleport to your knife. Okay. Yeah. That was my ninth level ability that I got one of them. Yeah. I know you used it once, though, in the fight. It was before they yeah. got on you, though, doing that. It was cool. So how how fast did Corv did Corvus go down? Like, did you have? It was very it fast. Yeah. Rogues not, don't have a ton of hit points. Now I mean, you were attacked not by Grelka but by the other no, flying. It was the Alps. I thought the other flying thing attacked you too. Might have got it him did once, once but like the did. Alps are what really tore me to pieces because okay. yeah. you had. I think did I you have one, all three of them or two of them? Two of them, one on each side. Yeah. I couldn't see either one of them. So yeah. we had already killed the third one. Maybe I don't remember. I don't remember. No, I think all three of them were on him, okay. and we couldn't. See, we couldn't knock them out of their invis- invisibility, could we? There was nothing we could even well, do. To do I mean, y'all, y'all weren't even no, trying we did. to we hit did. them. For, y'all eventually did. Because they were, make, they were just making their saves. Yeah, they were making their saves. concentration. But y'all weren't even trying to hit them because y'all couldn't see them for a while. Like, it was it took either... Y'all, it was trying to stay the, away from where they are. Yeah, Get a chair either, and come over here, Anthony. It, it'd be the easiest. Yeah, it was either hit the threat we could see or potentially miss the threat we can't. Yeah. It, it was just a, a wrong place, wrong time wrong timing kind of deal yeah. and and spread out we at the, by about yeah. that point there were three different kind of fights going on and we had also realized that we didn't need to be in a group because every time we got in a group they cast that, mm-hmm. that but at that thing. point it was over because yeah. you just at, don't know at one point Vistrid said i'm gonna run over there to buck and quincy i said no don't come over here and he was like <laughs> uh, and i said they're gonna do that thing and and he was like it's okay i have a plus whatever to wisdom i said well i don't and they're targeting a group <laughs> like <laughs> <laughs> They're not going to even cast it unless we're in a group. Right. So I think we had realized that, and that was kind of, I mean, maybe a little meta, but we spread out. No, that's because basic. Of that. That's fighting technic- tactics. I mean, that's not meta. Yeah. I mean, if you, it that's, happened three It would times be meta if we said, these are Alps and they have hypnotic patterns, yeah. so don't group up. Yeah. That's meta. Yeah. <laughs> but see, even if y'all fight them again, like I would say that y'all know they're fighting right. tactics. Right. But that, that's changed can. now, though. We, yeah. The characters are aware. It's when the players use knowledge, the characters don't have access to right. So there was another one of just like the nannies that turned into a Vargas. Yeah, but the, see, the, Grelka was an ancient Vargas. So she was the only one who was regaining 20 hit points at the, uh, at the beginning of her turn. Gotcha. The other one wasn't doing that. Um, I think that was all. No, she also had the frightening presence at the beginning of the combat. The other one didn't have that. I, I've actually... I did. It was after that fight. Was that? Yeah, it was after that fight. My sister was here. and pl- I played D&D with her and my mom and my cousin. And I continued from where we left off on our tales from Plexi. Did Plexia you record it? We did. No, I didn't record it. Why? Because I didn't, any further from there, I think it's going to mess with our game. I don't okay. want people to think that it's lore. I was just, okay. I, and that was what I told them. I said, from here, I, got, I said, we're going to continue playing in this world. But I said, I don't want to try to adhere 
to Seth's world, so we're not going to record okay. anything. So anyway, so what what had happened when they left off is they went to the coffin. There was a oh, vampire in there. Mm -hmm. Well, I knew they were going to have to fight him because they woke him up. So I was looking up some vampire stuff, and I saw a bunch of the stuff that you were using with them. That's just a basic vampire thing. So um, we actually continue with that. And I had to see some vampire stuff. I was like, oh, I didn't know this before. And which probably, like, I know Tyrell probably did. I mean, all that, I think. All that vampire stuff regains health at the start of its turn. I mean, that's super hard to kill. Because I, I nerfed him way down. I picked, like, a if you, uh, just a basic vampire is a very high CR. Mm -hmm. Just a vampire. So you, I went with, like, Vampire Thrall or something, which is a lower level. They only gain, like, 10 health. And they can see the only... Alps didn't. Ha they they on the bites they were and even the normal Vargas, which Grelka could have, like her bites were also healing her. Yeah, like so. the necrotic they get back or mm -hmm. all of it. They the get necrotic, back. They just get back. the necrotic. Okay, yeah, it's the, the same. Necrotic also same lowered thing. our max health. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it was that fight was interesting because there was so many different dynamics that like you could have died just from your uh, yeah. uh, the necrotic. Yeah, you kind of have to oh, just sit there doing math, going, okay, how quickly am I going to die here if I take another hit? Like, how? Mm -hmm. I mean, what's going to be the consequences? Your max hit points are suddenly eleven. Like at max, you're healed. Yeah, at 11. right. That, and, and that was part of the trick. It's like it's like if Tyro was like, well, if Corvus hadn't have engaged, then Rask would have died. Because there was no, it's like someone, someone, someone had to die, gonna die just the way the, just the way combat and, started. And Buck could only make it to Rask. I can't he, believe he made it to Rask. How long that. were you sitting there calculating that? I mean, from the moment that I saw Rask was down, I was like, okay, and all he was right. down up on the dais. Like, uh, yeah, was like, yeah, he was just like, he did not learn his lesson. I was like, okay, I'm gonna have to, I'm going to have to do this. And, and from that good? point on, it was just like. Was it good, AJ? Yeah. Yeah, it's fine. I was just I didn't know what you were on. Okay. From that point on, I was just like, okay. This is, this is how it's you know this is how I have to do it. I, I can't use an action surge, you know. I, I I cannot focus on anyone else right now except the first dead body. Because you went didn't down. have action surge, or you just wanted to. Save I just it? only had one. Right. So you were you didn't want to use it then. Right, I didn't want to use it at any other point, and, and you know, um, I, there was a part of me that was like, okay, this is all going to work out, and then like I was like, wait a minute, and you know when Seth said, you know, he this this is it's going to take these swaps at him, you know, and I was like, all right, I'm going to get to him, I'm going to get to him, I'm going to get to him, and I I, I just. I don't. I don't want to. I don't want to show any kind of panic. You know what I no, mean? No, you didn't. Yeah. yeah. Well, I don't. If you hadn't been acting the way you were acting, I don't think we would have even known that that was about to happen. Well, I guess I need to stop acting. Maybe. I'm not. I'm just not a good. I don't know enough about the game to think that far ahead. Like I'm thinking about my character. I'm thinking about where people are positioned. I'm like, okay, what's he probably going to do? And I'm talking to to Ryan about, can you do this or whatever? Well, see, I'm having and, to think like, would they do this? Like, because some things would not just brutally murder someone yeah. when they're down. But, I mean, these things were in a Those blood would, frenzy yeah. and they absolutely would. So I'm like, okay, I, you have to play them accordingly. I realized that, yeah, when you said that one, that one was going for somebody and Rask got hurt and it went to him. I went, they're going for people who are hurt. So I didn't know that. So I knew when Rask went down, that's bad, but I didn't know if they were going to keep attacking. And you don't have time to figure it out if they're going to keep attacking somebody that's down because one turn is all it takes to kill them. Mm -hmm. So, wow. Was yeah, that was, that was, I see why it was rough. Yeah. Because they weren't, especially the, like the fact that But the, see, I underestimated, I, I thought it was going to be the Vargas no, that were going to be rough. They were going to stay up high. They are going to do their flyby thing. We have enough range and enough magic that we can affect flying things. The in Alps, a contained The Alps area. were honestly just kind of filler. Like, I can't just have these two. And like, I think three would be just too Stuff many. Stuff that you can't see is just, yeah. that is humongous. I don't think anybody would have died if we'd have fought three of the big things. Probably not. I don't think so either. Now, unless you turned around and gave Grelka legendary actions, then we probably would have been dealing with a different kind of fight. I think it was Malachi that I told, because he was talking about, you know, that was really brutal. And I was like, yeah, it was. But I said... So many of y'all didn't take any damage. I said, I, I think I me, I think Quincy, Gillard, and uh, Vistrid could have done it by themselves. I don't, you told me that too. I don't. I could have resisted a, a lot of the damage. If, if AJ had been the one running in, probably. Maybe. 
if he'd have ran in and rage and they all jumped on him and he it's like all three of them are around him, Vistrid has area attacks and then not to mention, we probably couldn't handle two of the big Not numbers. to mention Vistrid has a large He's saying they could have handled the two the, the Vargas saying. and all three Alps. I don't think we could have taken both Vargas and all three Alps. I think we could have taken Alps, three Alps and one Vargas. I think we could have taken the them. Alps. I think would be the. I think we could take two Vargas, no problem. I think. Oh, the I do, Alps but I'm issue. saying, I'm saying the five. I think is it would yeah, over, that that probably is true. Yeah, I think we could either do because um, they've just got too many turns on us. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we, we it, it's we lose the same thing. Seth loses that when all of us are playing. Right. Yeah. Action economy. True. But yeah, I mean, just the. But yeah. And it just so happened that we didn't get attacked. I mean, it just so happened that Ras got hurt early, and yes, so up. and the and, and the and then Corvus got hit. So a few more Alps, Alps like coming from behind y'all would have changed a lot. Like yeah, instead of that the second Vargas, two more Alps mm-hmm. would have made that combat so different because that means my attention would have turned around, meaning that she never would have been restrained. That's and also two more hypnotic patterns. True. So, like, have we talked to Tyrell about how he feels about it? We him? haven't quite got to it. Not completely. We're kind of getting there. We're towards. Yeah, we're, we're, I want to I wanna go through, through, I do want to go through Tyrell's mind about, okay, Corvus, Corvus is dead. Now all you've got is Thren. I want to know, like, while we're in this intense combat and you're trying to, now you've got to try to get Thren out of this castle while you've got a chance. So what was going through your head on that? Well, as soon as I like said, "Okay, Thren, you're at, you wake up at a table." What was your thoughts then? Like, was you like, "I need to escape," or did he what know did you about think? it ahead of time? No, did, no. no. right? No. no, no, it was kind of. I think way. I told you to make sure you brought Thren. Yeah, you did ask me if I brought Thren. I thought something was up, but was it immediately? I'm going to try to get him out of there. No, not not yet. I I didn't think of that until he said that like he was out of the trance or whatever, and I was like, "We got an opportunity here. Maybe I can get him out." You know. I was going to see if I could. So, yeah. uh, so you would have literally had two player characters. Would, would Thren have just packed his bags and gone home? I'm going to go study with Solaris because I'm not good enough. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think so. I think he'd probably been trying to find you guys. I mean, that would be the most logical well, thing I guess that done. My, my, I guess my question, Corvus survived. You end up with two characters. Seth's like, you got to pick one. The other is going to go there, like kind of separate from the party. What would Tyrell's decision have been with two characters on the line? Now, it's funny now because Ryan asked play. this last game, at, or last Satan common right before Corvus died. Oh. He, he asked this, and Tyrell, yeah. he said, he told Tyrell not to answer it, but he asked it anyway. Well, I, I guess my answer to I'm that would ask be... because he lost one. Right, yeah, I, I'm interested. If Corvus would have survived, and Thrain would have survived, I figure Corvus would probably, if you guys had, I guess in the end, if you do actually end up, we end up killing Bathory or whatever, he probably would have stayed behind, and Thrin would have probably went on with you guys. That's probably so you would have kind of in and out both of them. Maybe okay. maybe Thrin's with us for a little while while Corvus is with the circle. I would And then mind Thrin that. stays behind while Corvus is there. That way you have, you know, you can still be there, but we can rotate I out I wouldn't have minded letting Corvus' story be told right. in Galeport. The biggest and then we'll regret leave. is that we didn't get any of the backstory of Corvus. Like, he, he, I didn't, he didn't get to meet the circle through Corvus, I didn't like, realize I didn't realize that there was that much backstory there. Was, he he fits in with your uh, your your game, the one that your uh, sister and cousin and mom played in the first Tales of Plexia. Oh, really? Yeah. Right. We said Deb was Deb is your mother. Yeah. Yeah. How? Well, see, this is where your game now couldn't really get onto it. Yeah, so see, they would have been defeated this, by. I assume that that man was Lord Bathory, right? Their father. He's the Bathory's dad. And then he would have like put Deb's character under a trance, and uh, he's a Dampier, so that means that he's half vampire. So she would have conceived Corvus. Wow. So we got a Legend of Zelda thing where one side is his people losing a campaign, and one side is his people winning a campaign. You are now in the. Uh, the hero timeline, and we are now in the fallen timeline. Well, actually, when they fought him, he got away. So he called one of his turns. He conjured like a storm of bats, mm-hmm. and then on his on like three turns later, he was able to stay alive. And when the bats got there, he turned into a bat and just left with the bats, and they didn't know what, who was who. That's smart. So he's still out there. I left that kind of open ended, and he'll probably be you know he can be like a big bat in, of this area, or whatever. <laughs> but yeah, that's interesting. Uh, I think that we kind of kill him off in the backstory. Like, um, after he was born, I think 
the the Bathory sisters did do away with his mother, and that's why he was so gung ho on we. Ha- I have to kill the Bathory. Yeah, he wanted revenge, yeah. just that's like Star Lord. Yeah. Oh yeah, because when they played that game before, my mom was Narissa, wasn't she? That because she's playing it now as uh, Thorn. Thorn. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, she was a female character on that one because your cousin wasn't. She was a male. I didn't let my mom play Thorn because she was Thorn in the yeah. the so, Tiger Skull game. So Yeah, so uh, your okay. cousin was a guy, and then your sister was a half-orc, and your mom was the only – I think she was human. And Narissa was just a female version of Thorn. It's the same character, basically. So that's, that's I where, didn't realize that when we played it this from. next time. She's Thorn now. See, I think that's I remember – did I ask you to write up something – or have your mom write up some some stuff? Oh yeah, I don't know. I don't think she ever did, did she? I thought she did because I gave it to him. She did. My mom wrote something up for you, or maybe I just got some information and I wrote some stuff up for him. I don't remember. He's got it. Tyrell's got yeah, it. Yeah, he has it. I've forgotten all kinds of stuff. I did not realize that. That's cool. I wrote this. <laughs> <laughs> I I asked I asked questions and got this. Grew up in the okay. So Narissa Hawthorne, twenty five year old human ranger. Pet wolf, his name was Noah. She had a wolf, not the hawk. Okay. Mm. okay. Grew up in the wilds of the Bernheim Forest amongst the Azaleas, a tribe of hunter gatherers that specialize in tracking and hunting in large groups. Found a lost wolf pup on a hunt and kept it as a pet, trained for tracking protection. A plague entered the tribe and killed many, including all of the Hawthorne family. The rest of the tribe was dispersed and Narissa set off on her own. Yep. That was his mother. You hear that, Deb? You're the- <laughs> Corvus is your kid. She doesn't even like Corvus that much. <laughs> <laughs> that's funny. Well, that's what happens when your mother doesn't raise you. <laughs> wow. Okay, interesting. Very good. You I should like tell your mom to listen to the Satan comment, but don't tell her what we're talking about. Just listen oh, she'll listen. she'll listen to it. So I, I won't say anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll let her figure Surprise! it out. Surprise! <laughs> but yeah, when you... Like, when you did that I was like okay and he wanted to come up with this damn pier character I was like well we have to tie it in somehow it has to make some sense somehow so yeah we tied it into your Tales of Palexia I like that yeah. I'm glad y'all did that that's cool all the Tales of Pal- let's see who you ran a game and that one ties in very well we just haven't really kind of got to it yet oh. um, yours? mine was this is in the Dying Lands yeah Oh, wait, before well, the yeah. Dying Lands were dying yeah cool now we shouldn't have aired all that out there because are we going to no. figure out his backstory? No, he's there's dead. no re- no reason that we would. No, we can't. Like, I, would would you say the know. circle even know much? No, he's no. the only, only one that knows. You're just backstory. using the circle as a means to an end. Yeah, yeah. He, he's the only one who could have told you all that stuff. At best, may, wouldn't do, do, do any of the Bathories know about him? At he best, was. You were technically in a prison. Yeah, no, they, at, at best, best they could ask where's Corvus, yeah. and then maybe. Tie him in through campaign. But they, the, the batteries are not scared of Corvus. That's what I'm saying. I bet they'd be like, "Where's little Corvus or something?" Yeah. Like it'd be. But super that, that's amazing. the only reason he's wanted is because th- did they capture him? Well, he he did murder, uh, basically murder more or less, like a guard or whatever escaping. So oh, okay, getting out. Man, I thought you were gonna be like one of the big ones. Like he did kill one of their like important peoples, but you were just a like, guard. <laughs> Yeah. He killed the lieutenant. He's only he was only what level seven when he joined. No, I know, I know. It's just, I was <laughs> expecting like a name drop. No. It was like he did murder, you know, the previous king. <laughs> it's like a oh, guard. Um, this is funny. So then, while you're sitting over there with Thren, going to get him out of there, you don't have your spell book. So there's a limited thing, you, limited amount of things you can cast, and you have to have components. Yeah. Did you have your old spells written or down no still? Components. See that? Yeah. I actually called him. I, I spent one day um, on the <laughs> cutting hay, and I called like four of y'all <laughs> talking about like what this game coming up and stuff. Yeah. And I actually asked him, I was like, how did you cast those spells? Like without a spell book, you technically couldn't have. And he said that he had all the spells from the previous day when he got captured. So I was like, okay. Adam, you memorized the spells. That's for the day. Mean. Yeah, for the day. Yeah. So I was just counting just the spells that he had that day that he, without any of the components needed. Yeah. I cast those particular spells. Yeah. Right. And I was and that's that's cool and I like that. When I when I played that's duo a juicy bit of flavor. When I played duo, um, I I, it. I, uh, I was super paranoid about what if Ru- what if Rudy captures us and I can't cast spells. I was like, Rudy, can my focus be on my hand as a tattoo? He's like, yeah, that's fine. I was like, ha, fireball. <laughs> it's like you're in prison and you don't have access to a spell focus or any of your materials. You can't do anything. I don't think enough, I don't think enough DMs like care care about 
what you're casting through, but it should make it should me it should matter. Yeah, like so it really should. That's my matter. question. It, is because it, of imprisonment, yeah. Mm-hmm. Does the focus take take? It takes place at the components. That's you don't what have I to thought. That's components. what I was asking. Yeah. Okay. Focus. I really appreciate it. It's Wizards of the Coast's way of saying, "Look, your character doesn't have to go out there and scavenge crap on the streets. <laughs> Literal uh, guano. You can just have a wand. Or I mean, there's a lot of objects. I actually particularly like tattoos. Yeah. I like tat. Duo actually had a brand. It wasn't even a tattoo. It was, he was branded by his uh, where where he got his magic from. But um, it was yeah. It was it was it's sick. I, I like components. Know. Like in, t- in the game we're playing with IRL right now, I'm components. Yeah, I don't like components for me, but I like when people incorporate. Liam them yeah. in Liam. campaign two, two did a great job. Tyrell's yeah, with freaking the- feather was yeah. genius. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now here's a question surrounding like Buck. Okay, and this is a c- completely like what if scenario. Uh, like, have we talked about how our characters leveled up? Is that too meta to talk about on the podcast on this? I don't reckon. Okay. So, like, we leveled this up. This is where we do meta. Yeah, this is, this okay. is the meta. The I mean, meta if it's something you don't want us to know. No, yeah. no, no. I mean, okay. you'll know it. I mean, it, it was kind of hinted at by Tira in the last one. I'm level five now. I have access to Revivify. Now you do. Yeah. Oh, now I do. that's what you were saying when we were playing, but yeah. it would be too late because Revivify, I think, has to be. Oh, it has to be immediate. Yeah, a minute. it is immediate. Okay. It is within a we minute. Were, we technically leveled up that night. Yeah. yeah. That's how I do level ups is you level up the rest. night after. Yeah, yeah. long rest. Um, so is my focus for my spell casting the the thing that... Kinda, to, I okay. Say, I mean, that's so up now, for you. When it comes to... When but it I gave it to, to you. Yeah. When it comes to Revivify... Does that still require the diamonds yes. worth three hundred? Okay, okay. That's if, that's if the component is going to be lost. If it has a number me- next to it, it means it, it destroys it. Oh okay. well, there's two versions. There is if it says consumed, consumed yeah. it means you have to have that. Uh, some d- there are some DMs and there's some tables where they'll let you sacrifice the gold from your pouch as if it replaces the component. I personally, for storytelling reasons, that there's a reason it's there because mm-hmm. that's that spell is better than other spells of that. Level. And it's not hard to go and get it. Yeah, like, if you have the gold right. components, you can easily buy that exactly. item. Though. And it's it's not as it like like the components for Revivify are a a sack of diamonds worth three hundred. Mm-hmm. So it doesn't have to be one giant. It's just, just lodestone diamond. You know, it's just a, a yeah. so. But um, there are also spells that have components with a gold cost that you just have to have. Yeah. Chromatic Orb is the only one I know off the top of my head. Basically, you have to have whatever that the orb diamond. is. Yeah. yeah, I think it might actually be a diamond just like this. It's basically what you cast your magic through to give it the, whatever, the chromatic orb. Yeah, right. and it changes colors, and that's how you decide what I kind was of actually just going to – go ahead, Ty. Oh. I, I was just gonna say that's how all those summon spells from Tasha's work too. Like now, they does all, those consume? The, no, they don't the consume. But you have to have whatever. like a, I think it's like a silver vi- a ruby vial with silver lining around the mm-hmm. outside of it, uh, worth five hundred gold pieces, yeah. or you know, on and on and on, different things like that. My my sister told him she was here. She's playing in a game in New York with some of her friends that she that were they were in college with her and. It's cool that we've got this. That we're just branching out. Yeah. Well, they they already played. She's got she got some friends she went to college with that she was in theater with, and gotcha. they are theater played. kids love D and D. No, I figure it's a super good game because like they're into it. We went and did an escape room, and they were like in character. So, uh, <laughs> it was like a who done it. I mean, not. I mean, it wasn't super in character, but it was just funny because they were like acting. But um, anyway, I that figure it's a really, really good fun. game. <laughs> but anyway. The dude that's DMing it is like knows a lot about D and D, and she was telling me she cast some spell. I think it was chromatic orb, and she said I cast it and it used my gem, and I couldn't I couldn't cast that spell again during that battle. I was like, no, I was like that's a level that's like a level one spell. I said it doesn't consume that. And she that. said, well, he told me that I had to buy another gem before I could do that again. I said no, unless it says consumes. Or like there's a cost? I said, no, definitely not. I said, not a level one damage spell. No way. It's like, that's, yeah, I think it's like a ruby. You're wrong, New York guy. Yeah. Well, he's from, he's from Arkansas. So. You're wrong, Arkansas guy that moved to New York guy. Like, what does he know about this game? I don't even know anything about this game, and I know that. Yeah. There's not a lot of spells that are like that. It's just basically your like magic. Hero's Feast is like a gold goblet that's a thousand gold, a thousand, yeah. Yeah, yeah. thousand gold worth or something. But then it doesn't consume it. It you, does consume. Oh, it does? It yeah. consumes the goblet? Oh, most yeah. of them consume. There are just certain ones where it's like, that's what I was going to say, your magic basically interacts with this object to create an effect that normally doesn't exist. But if, if you have a focus, 
You just don't have to do this, the dumb component. Like, you don't have to have components to cast a fireball. You still do for those. That's what I'm saying. For those exclusive spells where it consumes it or needs it, yeah. technically you're supposed to still have those. Ryan was getting that diamond dust for the diamond... Is it diamond skin? No, uh, stone skin. Stone, stone skin. skin I think. And he was thinking that consumed. And I can't see that consuming. Like, you Yeah, because you're, you're taking on the properties of it. I don't know if it does or not. But that's a pretty low level spell. I just know chromatic orb. That's my go to because Liam casted right. it, and I, I just I was I remember thinking you know I remember him saying he had to have it and it wasn't it wasn't right. consumed. So maybe can can a can a arcane trickster have a chromatic orb? Diamond dust worth a hundred gold pieces, which the spell consumes. Oh, wow. hmm. Which I mean, that's if you expensive. yeah, horrible. if you think about it though, that that sort of makes sense. It does if kind you're, of make sense if yeah. you're if you're you're drawing it in on yourself. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that's the thing you. I mean, I think of it like Triple H, you know, <laughs> and then uh, yeah, and then you it, it it adheres to your skin basically. You've got a mineral coating on the outside. Okay, of chromatic orb says a diamond worth at least fifty gold pieces. Okay. Yeah, but it doesn't consume it. it doesn't consume that just means you it has to be a diamond at least big enough that it's. It doesn't okay. matter if you use a focus; you still have to have a diamond. Okay, I think that's what she said. Their idea of it is because like you can change, you can decide what elemental damage, and it kind of comes out as a color and lights oh, okay, going through I got the you. diamond. I got you. Yeah, that almost that almost gives you the idea that magic is is like the cast through light. Yeah, you know, <laughs> okay. it's just a different shade of light. You know, mm. uh, there's a there's a creature in um, Fizzbands. It's a Draco Hydra? It's literally a dragon, dragon. like a bunch of dragon yeah. heads. So Tiamat, basically? Kind of. Probably it's, more it's heads that, than Tiamat, though. It, it's, it has a prismatic breath. And, like, it, it randomly chooses, like, you know, which breath attack to uh, hit with. Well, like Wheel of Fortune? <laughs> yeah. Now, Tiamat, she, she has dedicated bre- uh, breath to each one of the heads. Yeah, it's right. not a chance. It's yeah. this head's gonna attack you and it has poison breath. Yeah. Okay. That's kind of the way that is too, but I think you do roll something like a D six or right. something like that on it. You'd too. have to tell which one. So where are we at before all this? <laughs> Thryn uh, with the components of his the spell. most yeah. savage move of all time. Yeah. Man. So yeah, okay. Thryn Thryn upstaged Gillard, by the way. I was really excited about grabbing that big idiot, yeah. that big stupid bat. I don't know how like that oh that clip that AJ that sound bit of yeah natural 20 <sighs> yeah <laughs> that was so awesome <laughs> I posted on Reddit it didn't blow up like I I, I thought that was going to be like trending yeah <laughs> it deserved to be trending so yeah what we like so after Corvus is dead and you're just you're out of the fight and you're just focusing on well uh, whenever you asked me to make that save and I rolled the natural 20 I was like Maybe there's a chance that I can get out of this. So I started before that. Yeah, I pulled you out of the crowded room into a private hallway. Yeah, <laughs> that, yeah. That's, mistake, mistake number two. <laughs> <laughs> well, that, that gave me the idea. I started like thinking. I was like, Is the, if there's a way that I can get out of here, and like you, I think you went back to like their combat for a little bit, like during because she grabbed yeah. me by the throat, and I think you went back mm-hmm. to them. That gave me enough time to think about how am I going to get out of See, this. I didn't want to. I didn't want to slow down combat by sticking with you for right. a long time. So I'm sticking with the six seconds, yeah. like quick little things happening. Yeah, that gave me enough time to think about what I could do though, and uh, I started thinking. I was like, if I can find a window and go out of it. I just need to be able to cast fly. So I immediately went and looked up fly. I was like, what is the component that you need? And I was like, it's a feather. I was like, pillows have feathers. So that's the reason I was asking if there was a room, there was a couch, if there was a pillow. And I was like, sure. Okay, that works. <laughs> see, like, she she doesn't fear Thryn. Like, she's had him wrapped around her finger, you know? Like, she is this all-powerful vampire lord thing. And she like she's gonna control him. She's gonna get him back under. She just doesn't want him to make a scene and embarrass her, her sisters. Yeah, here in front of everyone there. So she just takes him out. And who like, all else was in the room? I don't know. He didn't look around. Uh, I did not. I didn't but now it, then he got out, and then it just so happened you rolled the dang natural one on her following him. Or the, he would have led him back to the nest. Yes, the bat. Oh my. Oh yeah. That was. That was oh. Did you even think of that? That she could transform. I wasn't even thinking about the bat. No. If if I would have thought about it, like when she was actually chasing me, I should have cast fireball. I, I <laughs> I what, what, what about a flying speed on a bat, though? What are we looking at here? Like, could she have kept up with him as a bat? Well, I uh, the natural one, and she lost him. Well, yeah, I know, yeah. but what what's your fly speed? Sixty. Sixty feet. I don't know what a bat. I bet a bat's thirty. I bet he would outrun her. 
Well, it's a vampire bat, though. Like, I bet it they're probably have her movement speed. It might would have her movement uh, speed. I don't know. She doesn't have sixty movement speed. Have you seen vampires? In well, I mean, she, I guess maybe dashing. <laughs> I don't know. But and, I mean, the natural one. He was able. Did, did that mean you saw her, or she just lost you? He he saw it. Okay, and got away from it. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. But he could have easily. You could have gone no, to the I, ground and outrun her. Or I don't hid. think that I did see her because I think I rolled pretty low on the perception check. Well, she rolled a natural one. Oh, he was on a stealth check, natural one. Oh, okay. So. okay, yeah. So yeah, like I guess I did because I think I rolled like a twelve or something like that on the. On the yeah, perception. I think you saw it, and then he just said you eventually lost it. Yeah. yeah. So like, at that point, were you afraid she was going to get you back under her? Like, what would you have done? I had to make a new character. Or just not played for a while until we saved Thrint. Like, I don't know. I, I guess, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe make a What would I have done? <laughs> yeah. I might would have sat you what down you for a while. A bullet. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. That, that's wild. Were, were you... Were you concerned with... Like, once Corvus is dead, now... Were you maybe not trying as hard to keep Thren no, in there? No, I was, I, I no. Mean, I know you rolled I was never going to kill him because, like, that's not what she wanted. She wanted right, to just control yeah. him. Like, I don't, like we talked. Like, we, I thought about trying to, like, get some kind of romantic angle going. But, I mean, if she's mind-controlling him, there, there's no, there's no, nothing romantic about that. That's just, you know. Yeah, a little like, Voldemort. I mean, yeah, she couldn't. She wasn't going to ingratiate herself on him if he can't remember any of the conversations they've had. Yeah. So, and like, if he would have been awake and being held against, like, held there, he would have been like reaching out with y'all for sending, with sending, like, hey, you know, right. don't trust me, don't come to dinner. I so badly wanted to have a dinner. Dad, come. Oh, yeah, now that's so, not on the yeah, table. Yeah, you don't have to do that. But we anymore. don't know. That's the next thing. We don't yeah. know where Thrain is. True. That's true. That's <laughs> true. But uh, he just, they're just like, okay, guys, I'm going to go back in. Pretend I'm still under her control. <laughs> <laughs> Come groveling back. So. No, you could just send to But no, I, I absolutely thought he would probably end up failing. Because, I mean, she's just going to keep trying. He can't get away, would away she, from her, I thought. Would she have kept trying when he actually attacked her, though? Yeah. Because, uh, like, once he, ha- she has her. him in control, yeah. yeah. Once she has him under control, then he's fine. So. So even though that was a clutch moment and it was really cool to like to go through, it really wasn't that big of an impact to her. She just he probably damaged her dress and that would piss her off at most. Okay. Now see, but she's also like she's this hundreds year old vampire. So just because like I'm saying that they couldn't have a romantic thing doesn't mean that she didn't think it was a romantic thing or really enjoy his company with him being mind controlled. Oh, like man. it might, she might be taking this super personally. Ty- Ty- like, Ty- Tyrell, you have to role play in the future, getting some of your memories back and, and like actually getting feelings for this this oh bag we're gonna kill. <laughs> we have one really good night down by the pier. <laughs> Because, like, she, she took him shopping. She put him in nice clothes. She was buying him books that he would enjoy. Like, she's playing with him like he's her, her personal that's, Ken doll. That's literally what I was going to say. I wonder like, how much he told her now. Because whatever she wanted, that a lot that's today. a concern. I it's feel a concern. like the, their relationship is almost like that. If, if you've guys seen Castlevania, that anime series. Oh, what? Uh, it's been a while. Wow. Oh. On Netflix. What is that vampire's name? I can't think of what it is. Starts with an A. Yeah, I can't think. Or maybe it's an L. I think it's an L. Anyway, she like holds. Um, I can't remember. It's been so long since I've seen that series. Now, one of the characters she basically holds prisoner for like the longest time, and they like kind of develop a relationship or whatever between the two of them. Uh, y'all need to read Dracula if y'all have not read it. I read the great read illustrated, illustrated classic. classic. Read the real one, <laughs> or listen to it on Audible. <laughs> That's really good. Brought to you by Not Audible. What's the difference? Like a great illustrated classic, is it just like it's condensed, 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 it condensed it for kids, yeah, basically? For sure. Way easier. I remember being scared by it. I mean, I was, it was a little bit creepy I think for, it, you know, a fourth or fifth grader. I read the great illustrated classic of Moby Dick, and up until probably about a year ago, I was like, yeah, I've read Moby Dick, totally. 
No. I did. I read uh, (laughs) Tom Sawyer, Huckleberry Finn, Dracula. I tried so hard to read Moby Dick so that I could get all those those points from the AR system. Moby Dick had like 56 points. Failed that test. I tried to read War and Peace. (laughs) 118 AR points. Tyrell doesn't even know what we're talking about. Do you know what AR points are? AR was there while you were still in school. You went you went to school through third, didn't you? Third, third grade? Oh, yeah, you, I didn't know you was even in, in school at all. I yeah. thought it was completely homeschooled. It was AR in third grade? Which I guess your third grade was our like sixth grade. Not Six, yeah. okay. I think everybody had AR. I mean, down to probably first, first or second grade. I don't remember doing AR until fourth, fifth. Yeah, I remember fifth grade. We still had the book at But I, I remember kids trying to go, like, do, like, take the Harry Potter test. And, I like, because Rings. Goblet of Fire was... Um, you cannot big. pass Lord of the Rings if you didn't read the book. Holes. <laughs> I was always told Holes is just like the movie. Very, yep, yeah, exactly. You know, it is, isn't it? It's very close. Pretty yeah, close. Probably. Remember Derek did a, uh, <laughs> a book report and he didn't read it. <laughs> He's just... Re- Saying everything that happened in the movie. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. Wow. I don't remember. And then, that. like, all of us were helping him, and then this happened, and then this happened. He's like, "Oh yeah." <laughs> <laughs> that was so funny. funny. <laughs> yeah, it was Our, nice change class. When I hit like I think junior high, the AR stuff reset. Retook all them Harry Potter yeah. points. Week three, number one on the charts, yeah. baby. <laughs> at, one point, at some point, uh, Miss, I, I, that ours reset, and I took all of them. Every book I'd ever read in front of, like, in Miss Clark's class, and I got like 800 points, I think. And she, like, she gave me so much stuff. She just gave me things because she was so impressed that I had 800 points. Dude, Miss <laughs> Clark was always cutting me so much slack. Okay, let me tell you what I was in. We are way off base here. I was in. I know, I know, but let me just get through this real quick. I was in Beta Club. All right. Yeah. Didn't maintain the GPA, not at all. Okay. <laughs> I, did, I did not do good the at two all. Two point I did not know that Tate. Struggled in high school. I thought I Tate was like one of the top. Eight no, kids. I was so lazy. I didn't do anything. I mean, I was there in class and I understood what they were saying and everything. I just didn't ever do homework ever, ever. I did homework. I don't remember yeah. having homework at Concord. Oh, I had homework. I did all the time. R- rarely did it. I remember the homework. <laughs> the reason I remember the homework is because I get yelled at for not doing it every week. Every week it was a thing. So, anyways. Back to Beta Club. I I was all the time fluctuating, you know, dipping below Beta Club, right above it. I mean, no, nothing good, nothing good, okay? And she's like, Anthony, Miss Clark really wants you to do really well because I know you're just so smart. Miss Clark knows it. This is the best impression I've ever Ms. seen. Miss Clark knows you're so smart, and I just want you to do so good. Now, you're on probation, in beta club but don't you worry a bit miss clark oh my gosh she was she got him on her so bad uh, she always <laughs> at the time but yeah. like such yeah. a good teacher yeah when you have a teacher that's really old she cared so much for and cares kid. so much and refers to herself in the third person <laughs> uh, it's talked just about like, little johnny back there <laughs> we uh, and she always brought up johnny that's funny right story. can't remember if it was no seventh grade i had miss i had miss holiday so it must have been eighth grade i had miss clark Two periods in a row. I had her seventh and eighth period. One was like some stupid like key, key, keystone. The, keystone. It wasn't Keystone. keystone it was something was so else. Ridiculous. It was fun with Miss Harlan in seventh grade. But I'm sure Miss Harlan made it fun. Who'd y'all have it with? Miss Clark. Clark. Oh my gosh. Well, this was eighth grade. I don't think you have Keystone in eighth grade. Keystone's I probably not say. even. I know what a paradigm shift is because of Keystone. That's yeah. the only thing yeah. I know from and Keystone. Seven Habits of Highly Effective. <laughs> yep, people. that that book. Yep. Yeah. Anyway, Miss Clark had her seventh and eighth period, and we brought like a hay bale clicker to school, and clicked it all year to see how many times she called herself Miss Clark. What did it get to? We sat there in class with a hay bale clicker. What was the result? I don't remember. It was. Triples, in the yeah. th- it was in the thousands. Oh, no, thousands. quadruples, yeah. I mean, it was, you'd get 10, 12 a day. Yeah, in one class. In one class. <laughs> and we had two classes with it. Yeah. Uh, she but, had an iguana that, like, uh-huh. was used to smuggle drugs in from Mexico. No way. Yeah. I don't remember that. How does yeah. an iguana smuggle drugs? People would cut it open, stick drugs in its... Like a fake it, one? It, no, a real iguana. And then sew it back up and send it across the border. Totally. And it was and a lie. Yeah. Cool. And she had it. Mm-hmm. How did she have it? She, it was like someone, they, they caught they it. rescued it or something? She rescued it, yeah. She also had a bird. Yeah. 
And she also goes to Mexico every now and then. <laughs> we got some kidnapped. Yeah, she passed away. I think so. Rest in peace, Miss Clark. Yeah. But we, uh, great teacher. We got some kittens from her one time. Mm-hmm. So I, I've been in her house before. Dude. She almost hit a school bus one time because her brakes went out or something. Like she was falling behind a bus and her brakes just went out and she had to like swerve to miss the school bus when it stopped to drop a kid off. You know, my dad at, or like at least my uncles had her too. My grandpa <laughs> had her. Your grandpa. My grandpa had, had Miss Clark as a teacher. You guys remember Miss Clark, right? They said she was a great teacher. Yeah, I, yeah. The, the she sub? was only a sub when yeah, I was there. Yeah, she taught my grandpa. Wow. Yeah. Of course, I don't know. Why if that would you means come back and more. sub? And she was always like a miserable. She was so. Miserable. I didn't think she was miserable. I just thought she was real. She we were way off. She, base. <laughs> she knew what she wanted. You know what I mean? She was on a she razor's a edge all the time. Like, just sit back there and supervise the class. We've got work to do. Which sub fell asleep? Miss Hawkins, probably. No. Oh. She, was, Hawkins, she, was, she was a sub. How do y'all know your subs, teacher, man? Wasn't she? No, she was a sub. Well, <laughs> we had the she same was a subs. Teacher, then she <laughs> left. Then she came back as a sub. And then I think she, like, Miss Clark got hurt one time. I think she fell and broke her hip. And Miss Hawkins filled in for her from, like, then until she retired. We only had Miss Cornelison, Miss Cartwright. That might have been it. Who's as subs? Sub? Yeah. Uh, what about uh, Miss uh, Raymer? Did you have her as a sub? No, Never she in was high a school. Teacher. Yeah. Raymer. Miss Raymer. Oh, no. the daughter? The daughter. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, in, in grade school, I think I had her. I don't know if I ever had her in high I school. I remember her in high school. Yeah. I remember a lot of people saying bad things about her. Very mean things, <laughs> yes. I, I've, got a dozen, are horrible. I've got a dozen stories about her. Dude, when Chinese. you lock up all these developing little minds in one area and you have a bunch of them just ruminating, terrible things happen. Can I please tell you a story about her? It's the funniest thing of all sure. time. Okay. Okay. I'm a senior in high school. Me and three of my friends have this we had like two or three shop periods a day okay there was one of them that was it wasn't a shop i don't think it was a shop maybe it was ag business or ag leadership some goof off class and we were always just back in the we were just like back the teacher didn't really make us do that much we'd go back in the shop like he always had projects back there and that like all the classes were working on like we'd go back there and we were building picnic tables to sell and he he bought this really crappy horse trailer that they ended up like repainting and repurposing and using it for the ag program so we worked on it a lot and like grinded all the old paint off of it and stuff anyway we were just always in the shop goofing off well we would like just find our way down to the gym a lot <laughs> and <laughs> we go <laughs> we go hit golf balls or like chip and putt or we go in the gym talk to coach or stuff like that anyway we went down there one day and it was seventh grade pe and coach strother it was coach strother's class we were down there talking to coach strother the kids are playing boys versus girls wiffle ball in the new gym. And the girls are like hollering, complaining. I guess they're getting destroyed. And we're talking to Coach Strother. He's like, y'all get out there and be on the girls team. We're like, all right, let's go. <laughs> so we get out there, you know, kind of spread out in the outfield. One of us pitching, one of us playing first. A couple of us playing one shortstop outfield. We spread out where we had pretty much covered. And, of course, we just start going off, you know. But it was, it was pretty evenly matched because the boys could hit the ball well. One day we go down there. And Miss Raymer is the sub. And, you know, she's a big athlete. <laughs> We're out there playing. Sarcasm. <laughs> yeah. We're out there playing. She's just the sub. Well, we play a couple innings, and she goes, are all you boys on the girls' team? And we said, yeah. And she was like, well, how's that fair? We said, because it's a full team of boys against a full team of girls, and we're just helping the girls out. She goes out there on the boys' team. <laughs> she's going to make the She's going to make the boys' team better. Okay. <laughs> It comes down to like the last at bat. There's two outs. We're up. The bell's about to ring. It might have already rung. You know, you had to have your last out, even if the bell's rung. Uh-huh. Little kid's up there to hit. She walks up there, takes the bat from him. Takes the bat. She's going to save the game, okay? Oh. <laughs> Cameron's on the mound, not Cameron on the podcast, my other friend Cameron. He, he's holding the ball. He turns around and looks at us with the biggest grin on his face I've ever seen. He couldn't believe what he was watching. <laughs> Soft tosses one down there. She takes a wild swing, grounds it back to Cameron. He picks it up and slowly tosses it over to first base. Oh, no. And she was trying, she was running as hard as she could to first and barely moving. I mean, it was one of the funniest things I've ever watched. Oh, no. Oh, that's one of my favorite stories from high school ever. Uh, I may bleep her first name on every time we've said it, so just for. Only you. Don't want to. What do you mean? Oh, I'm the only one that said it. So. 
Anywho, I don't know how we got there. That's some common life. Was there anything yeah. else about the game we needed to talk about? <laughs> Old school common life. Old school. <laughs> a lot of people listen to this probably don't, probably don't care about the game. They just want to. No one cares about our teachers. You're the bull crap anyway. That's relatable. It's funny. Yeah. So, like, y'all, y'all cleaned up. Man, your sword was the correct thing to use against... Groka. Like, I realized that when we got in there. I was like, oh my gosh, know. they heal. Yeah. It's like they won't be able to heal. Did not know when I had that sword. That sword was meant to make him a problem in a campaign where we didn't have any healers and I didn't even think about that. And then we ended up with it and became a huge problem for Seth. Who was fu- me of this sword Who was fu- Whose was it? Fenris's? No, it was... Um, Airdrill's? It was Airdrill's sword. Airdrill's sword. His sword is designed to kill anybody that he has to deal with. And that's why I gave it to him. The leader of the academy. Have you? Are you oh, in the campaign? Worked. Come on, yeah, man. No, no, dude. I'm just like. Come on. Have you listened I've, to the campaign a second I'm, time? I have been listening to three different campaigns. Uh, that's a mistake. Like currently, and I'm, one of them's not ours. <laughs> I don't think. No. no. <laughs> I just, man. I just finished Exandria Unlimited Calamity. And that's only four episodes. I know, but six hours long. On why the last would you episode. listen to that? That's garbage. It's that's not. That one's looked pretty good. It's good. Bradley Mulligan is he's a good DM. That's oh, the one I was the one that's the that's first one that was Unlimited. Oh, okay. This is, I watched this the, is calamity. Yeah, she's trash. <laughs> oh, okay. I watched the first episode of uh, uh, Tales of Drakenheim from Dungeon Dudes. I, 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 I like those guys. They're, they're really I, good. I, I, like when I catch up on. Uh, Critical Role Campaign Three, I might check out the Dungeon Dudes because I've heard a lot of good stuff about them. Yeah. I'll tell y'all what. I, I really like I've, I've sent y'all some videos from Trant Monk before Trant Monk Temple I like him he's really good at what he does he's an optimizer like he, he makes smart builds and stuff really it's just cool what he can do I, he posted a game where he was DMing for the one D&D which we're going we're gonna to talk about one D&D here in a little bit definitely but he posted a game where he ran some guys through one D and D with following all the new rule sets, and like they made their characters with one D and D and stuff. I was like, oh, I want to see how this goes. I want to see how it is. That dude cannot DM. Oh my gosh! Like made me feel real good about myself real quick. <laughs> Rid- like ridiculous voicing, but then like the the players like talking to one of the the captain of a ship about something and the dm just completely ignores everything he talks about i was like well i don't really like your guy that's oh is that that video you you showed me yeah yeah it was bad (laughs) it was bad bad yeah it was it was a dm for him too so like this guy basically what you would say his flaw is is he's already got a track of stuff that he wants to say it doesn't matter what they ask He's yeah. he's 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 got his own yeah. script. He, I think it was it was technically a module that he was running. Yeah. But like, even if it's a module, like, interact with what the yeah. characters say. Yeah. Like, you know, <laughs> like, like, fluff it up he a just little. Absolutely ignore. It was that's, like it was bad. <laughs> that's what I disliked about the module. Someone asked me something like that. Want to know what, something? And I was like. I don't know. We're looking for <laughs> If you want to run a module well, I think you have to memorize the whole thing. Like, right. if you want yeah. to run it well, I don't like them. Yep, I'm I've gotten to where I don't like them. I don't think I've ever. Well, I think we talked about this last time on Say It in Common. How if we're running anything in the uh, Forgotten Realms, it's like you have to memorize a, a period of time. Yeah, it's really complex. Yeah, yeah, because it's changed a lot. Yeah. And that, and it's also why it's almost. It's nicer to make up your own land, make up your own campaign. Yeah, and then you, you can, can set the rule, you can set the lore. You can, and then you can freestyle and play off of it instead mm-hmm. of, mm-hmm. you know. So anything else anyone wants to say yeah. about the campaign? How did we get here? We were talking campaign. about my sword. <laughs> um, yeah, me. I, I am the crux of all of this. I don't know. You, you, took, a, you took another cleric level, right? I did. I, we already, well, we didn't talk on, on the we podcast. About Rufus, so I went ahead and I went ahead and took a bard level, which was actually really big for me because I got an ASI. And if anyone was wondering, I did take a fighter level. <laughs> Are you going fighter all the way? Heck yeah. If I if I did it, I wouldn't dip more than two levels because I want Legion. What would you of dip one. into? I don't know. Warlock. I think Warlock. It would, it would have to be yeah. a front loaded class. So, I mean, nothing else is worth it. What was it like leveling up Thryn three levels? Three levels. We've leveled up three times since we got here. I thought it was only two. Um, and we've had two big fights, so it makes seven sense. Level 10, right? Yeah. Yeah. yeah but ten of it I thought we were eight when we got here. But didn't we hit yeah. seven from the... The birds, maybe? 
No, no, no. We hit seven from Hornbeam, right? So technically, seven to eight is our travel and our uh, little bit of crap in, when we first got there. Then we hit eight after Hornbeam, and then we hit. You mean Dubai? Wait, no. Wait, wait. Seven, eight, nine, ten. So we we've leveled up three times actually here. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Because I, I leveled him up from seven because he was seven. Or mm-hmm. seven right? Okay, well, I don't either way, we played we just, like eight just, episodes at, in Galeport. We just role play like a boss, and we just get that experience. Yeah. So well, uh, that was fun. Yeah, I he's have. gonna he's gonna be a lot different right now, isn't he? Yeah, he's a he now has the ability to cast fifth level spells now. So. Mm-hmm. Thren's gonna be a powerhouse. Play, playing Wizard in Tyrell's campaign, no. I didn't even know the spells that were out no, there. There's so many cool spells. <laughs> I'm not casting fifth level spells. I'm an idiot. Um, great weapon master. I've lost that completely. It's we, we, we talked about talking that a little bit. What, you lost it? I am an idiot, dude. Wait, no, you still have it, though. No, it is gone. What? You have it? I well, leveled up. I erased it. I erased it because <laughs> I, I don't have a great weapon. <laughs> just get a great weapon. We were saying how we can play that off just by get, saying it's a heavy It's yeah. a heavy weapon. Yeah, all we have to do is say your battle axe is a heavy battle axe. You're not going to erase a feat. I just did. Well, it's, but okay. All right. <laughs> Whatever. Well, there goes. I don't see why. I think you should be able to have great weapon master with any. This weapon. is the same thing Cameron was saying about hex. Like, well, I, I would just make it, uh, make it work against ability checks. I actually didn't know, and that's my bad, Seth. I, I didn't know. Be- I, I only think, know because of critical roles. Like, I don't like, think it Matt made it. Just keeps having difference. to tell them no. It didn't make a difference. It never I, came up. I, I came up. I think once, but it was all. It didn't matter because of Ryan's moonbeam. It would have come up, but oh, okay. but it didn't matter because Seth doesn't do. Well, now we know. We still learn stuff about the but game. But yeah, yeah, I'll Hex. definitely keep that in mind. Hex so, is a that, Hex that makes is what ability checks. Ability checks. The only ability thing checks, worth not a, hexing, not saving throws. Gotcha. The only thing worth hexing in a combat is strength or dexterity. Nothing else matters. Yeah, because if because well, grapple is strength checks. Right, but what requires if say that. I was a battle master, and I used uh, I used a, a a tripping attack. Is that a saving attack throw? Roll. Well, uh, I, actually, I know, does it exist in fifth edition? No, it, it's it's attack roll. Though. Well, I know I'm rolling attack, no, no, but no, they it's, it's, do they say it would be? Yeah, it's it's That's so tripping is just well. Are they are they dex checking against the trip attack, or are they dex saving? I don't know. Okay, it's so, like shove is is. Is strength or dexterity, or ac- well, athletics contested. or acrobatics contested? contested. Mm-hmm. I bet tripping is too. I'm not sure. I'll use mm-hmm. the one that I know, which is grappling. It's an attack roll for me to grab you. If I beat your AC, I grab you. You then breaking out is a strength or dexterity check contested by my, I don't remember. Strength. My strength saving throw, maybe. Or, or whatever, my, yeah, whatever my baseline is for whichever stat I'm using. And they have to get the problem is. And why that makes Hex even worse. I basically have to look at them and go, are you strong or are you nimble? And I need to Hex the better stat because they can use either one to get out. If I Hex Dexterity and they're like, I'm just going to break out with strength, yeah. not disadvantage. If I Hex the opposite, then the reverse is strength. Yeah, well, see that, comparing that to Great Weapon Master, like, you can't just change that. I mean, that's like, that's what the thing does. That's right. a huge difference. Ability checks compared to saving throws is a humongous difference. It's but just difference. saying, and I'm going to use this lighter weapon and it's still going to do great weapon damage because I'm well, using it two-handed. I don't see how that makes a difference. It's just, it just makes a difference because it's, it's a rule. It's like a, you couldn't... But the rule, rule well, doesn't rule hurt you. can't use a heavy weapon to do a sneak attack. You know, it's just heavy a weapons can't do finesse damage. Yeah, it's just a rule. Yeah, I mean, it's I, yeah, I get it. Weapon functionality. It's like mm-hmm. it would be. You, it would be the same argument that I, I feel like the equivalency would be like using shield master for like some really heavy armor. You know what I mean? You can interpose. You can interpose that it's between just, you. There's and no. There's no negative trade off. It's not like you were getting something extra because you did that. You're actually doing less damage than you would have been if you used a great weapon. The trade off is. All the heavy weapons are not finesse weapons, so you can't take Great Weapon Master and be a dexterity damage dealer. Yeah, which it doesn't matter anyway because he's a cleric. Right, fighter. doesn't apply to his situation, but people would do it. Oh, okay, it's dumb because yeah. it is a rule, and we haven't followed it at mm-hmm. all. <laughs> and I mean, and up to this point, if I'd have given him a heavy, if you battle had, axe, it would have been fine. No, up no. to this but point, I could have been using a great axe. I blame Seth. You know, because I've been using it too. Hit. Because I gave them a right. magical. Amazing great axe that when stupid Mr. Cleric touched it, he's like, You feel burned. Don't 
don't say you feel burned. <laughs> don't say that. The, the, the gods don't interfere with what may or may not be a cursed weapon. <laughs> She didn't care when freaking a demon was in our party in the form of, you know, warlocking, uh, warlocking Cameron's the, character. Why would she oh, give Lord. a crap about a cursed That's axe? funny. That's the only, funny. I, it, the only thing that I could express in that moment was what happened. It burned me. That's yeah, all I said. I, I didn't say. You. I didn't say don't use it because it burned me. I well, just no, said they it wanted me to use it. But the fact it was a good weapon for you. We have another person who would have used it. A him or Cameron's character, Erst, but you, but because... Blame them, be, no, not me. Right, for metagaming, because did your character turn around and say, oh, I just burned the crap out of me? I don't know. I just know, I think the assumption here is that you, because Seth told you, we all hear it, you then make it aware to us. Oh, it's evil, don't touch it. Yeah, it's like, we have had a great axe in our fight. But AJ's well, hearing even... voices anyway. Yeah. Which, that wasn't why I didn't use it. I didn't use it because Quincy wouldn't want to use that. That's the only... I'm just from a role-playing and from a flavor standpoint. You almost were just daggers because you started the game with daggers. <laughs> I know, but the first weapon I got was a spear. I just feel attached to spears. I still wish I could go back also to Also can't use it because you're small, which is also a lore for, which is also lore for head. Okay, good. Well, I mean, that's what I said. Like, I can't use that. And See, I don't like that role. I don't like that either. <laughs> if it's a magical weapon, it should shrink down. True. That's what it, I would say. It, that's what magic weapons say. And also, if you have a strength of 20, I don't care how small you are, yeah. you can be a cricket, and you can still... I mean, that little cricket on Dragon Ball Z could wield anything that's heavy. Yeah. That dude was a beast. <laughs> he could beat Goku up back then. <laughs> cricket. You remember him from Dragon Ball Z uh, when they never, were on King Kami's planet? Never watched Maybe he wasn't strong. Maybe he was fast. Maybe that's what it was. He was fast. He was fast. Maybe he wasn't that strong. I don't know. I can't remember. I just know they couldn't catch him. And I don't think he was weak because the gravity. Was Bubbles faster than him, though? The Bubbles? Monkey? No, no. Cricket was faster. Bubbles, they had to catch Bubbles first. Okay. Seth, there was. Oh, yeah, you want to talk about D&D &D 1 or 1D&D &D or whatever? That's 1D&D. &D &D Let's move to that. Issues with what Hex. Is huh? What is this? It's the new. It's, it's going to be. Yeah, it's 5.5. Some people are saying it's pretty much just 6th edition. Oh well, it's going to be 5. It's basically the. It's, They're just building off of 5th edition rules. And I think making a lot of improvements. Yeah, me too. Now this, With the exception this is, of crit. This is just playtest material right now. So right. It's not expected to come out until 2024. Yeah, it's going to come out in 2024. Can yeah. we, uh, is there anything that you want us to try to implement just to test? Or? I've thought about it. Um, honest, something I thought about implementing is the... Um, First level feet. No, it's too late <laughs> for that. I, I kind of gave everyone a first we level feet by doing the half feet from the academy. Oh, but also level uh, starting at, at zero, we got I didn't get buffs that. anyways. Mm -hmm. I thought I um what our, when our people do a recap, way, a recap, I give them uh, yeah yeah inspiration inspiration. I thought about in, implementing the inspiration rules because it's kind of interesting. Do not implement the crit rules. I no, the crit rules are stupid, and we'll talk about all this. But the inspiration rules is like humans. I know just get one when they wake up. You just get an inspiration for oh, being really? yes for being that. a human. The way inspiration. So basically, everyone yeah. has human determination now. Yes, all humans do. Right. Yes. It's their racial bonus. Yeah. Right. It's I, as playing somebody who's played a variant human with human determination as their first level feat sucks. <laughs> Not a good feat. But the way inspiration works in this playtest is, um, if you get a natural twenty on anything, you get inspiration that you can give yourself advantage on. But you can't if have you, more. Than you can't one. have more than one inspiration. Also, if you go like it, it. It disappears at the end of the day. When you go to sleep, it disappears. But what, uh, another cool thing is you, if you have an inspiration and you get a natural 20, you can give inspiration to someone else. So it's just giving a lot of people a lot of uh, just... I didn't know that part either. Yep, I haven't actually read it. I've just heard a breakdown of yep. it. Um, there, like, there's going to be feats. Kind of like the, the one that... Uh, the, the feat tree. Yeah, the leadership thing. It's kind of there's kind of leadership. inspiring leadership feat now. Super the way they're doing it is you can inspire like you can just give a little speech during a short rest or something. So basically, they're taking everything away from bards. No. Inspiring leader is not a bard thing. No, I, yeah, I thought College of Valor that's something that you get, isn't it? No, no, no. That's I a mean, feat. I saw. See, if I was a bard, I'd probably take that though because right. it fits in. Anyone could have that feat, no. but if you're a bard, you might as well do it like it because yeah. that's your that's your stick. They're basically, they've sort of nerfed feats in a way where they're, it's now a feat tree where you have to build your way up. Kind of like older feet. It's actually a step back in some ways. 3.5. 3.5 had that. 
Um, but the problem is, I guess, when you take that list of feats, ideally you can pick out probably 15 and then you'll never use the rest of them. Ever with any so character. it's like it's kind of it's like a video game where you put points into a thing, yeah, like Skyrim with its skill tree kind of thing. Yeah. That's what a feat is. When you take That's, a feat, you get pieces. Well, you can, but like you don't have to continue on the tree. You can no. get other feats and stuff. So like everyone is going to get one level one now as no part of race. instead of as your race, it's your background. Like backgrounds are way more important. Um, oh, well, that's good. I, I like that. Because yeah, you don't get racial bonuses anymore. So, like how you half elf off the top of my head, it had a racial, plus four. You no. don't get yeah, you don't get stats from races, but you get like, stats from backgrounds. But you do get abilities from backgrounds. Racial, yeah. basically biological. I think is the way they they yeah. phrased it. So like so the way it is now, let's just take human because that one's easy. You can like just normal human. You get a plus one in every stat. Just because of a human. doesn't matter if you're a sailor, um, urchin, whatever, as your background. Now, humans just have kind of, they, they can speak common. They get two feet. They get an extra feet at level. Uh, oh. Yeah, to start off. Because they still want to, like, humans are supposed to be, like, this adaptive race that can just come in and compete with elves and dwarves and half-orcs and stuff. I didn't know if they were orcs. Orcs. The extra feet, Yes, you get two feet. But Wake Up Inspired was definitely. Wake Up Inspired, yeah. So... But now, depending on what your background is, and they ha- they're they're pre making some backgrounds. Like you can still choose like your your scholar or your you know all the backgrounds that's in there. You can they they're gonna write up some, and it's gonna be like you can put a plus two to this and a plus one to that. Everything is getting plus two plus one. But they want you to just create your own background. No more mountain dwarfs. <laughs> yeah, d- there's no dwarfs. Mountain dwarfs got two plus twos. <laughs> oh, everything. Well, ha- uh, half elves got. A plus two and then two plus ones. But, um, so now everything just gets a plus two plus one, which Tasha's implemented that into their, what, what was yeah, it called? Uh, the lineage system. It was, yeah. it, uh, it allowed you to put plus two to, yeah. it, I think it even allowed you to do one and three different yeah, things. Yeah, you can do well. a one plus one plus one plus one yeah. as well. Um, so yeah. But now, if you want to be a half orc, not a half orc. They've done away with half races. There's no half elves. There's no half orcs. Technically, you can make anything a half race if you want. Yes, your chili smells good. We can smell it. Not in that. That's disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's see. What was I saying? Uh, no no half, half races. races. No half races. So if you wanted to be an orc wizard, you're not. You're not just lo- like. Getting. Wizards dump status strength. Right. Okay, let me ask you or this then. So, if you're playing in like the D and D realm with D and D lore, now there, there's a whole set of races that aren't there. No, no, all the races are there. They're, they've even added an extra race. There's not a default. What he, what he means by no half races is you choose what's going to be your primary, and there's probably yeah. A if you want to play a half orc, you just say you you just you make either an orc or a human. You choose. But what, you're still a half orc. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Basically, There's just nothing special about being a half orc. Basically, it's just your flavor. You, you can say I'm a half orc, but then choose which one you want. Okay. Systematically okay. and for flavor. I like that. Same with that. Yeah, I think it works really good. Basically, how it goes is my dad was an orc. My mom was uh, an elf. You can. Yeah. I favor the orc side. Now of you could be you could be a half orc, half halfling. Like you can okay. you can make any. That would be insane. You could. In the- yes, you can. Wouldn't that be a goblin? <laughs> Maybe. No, it's not. But that's funny. <laughs> but no, I think people's gonna probably come up with a lot of cool names for all these half races that are gonna exist now that like you can a cold just one? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna trademark that. What would an orcish dragonborn be? An orc get, Oh yeah, Dragonborn's definitely a dragon part of orc. Because the guy was complaining a about his breath orc. weapon not getting better. Scaly orc if they're orc. But if they're dragonborn, what would they they would be a tusked dragon? I think I'm, I'm, I may be wrong about this, but I think in Spelljammer, like the original old Spelljammer, there was yeah. there was actually a race called Scro. Scro. They're orcs backwards, but they're space orcs. That's okay. That's Warhammer 40k. But they're called Scro, not orcs with a K. We just come into Magic the Gathering. I've heard the Scro. No, the F- Warhammer 40k stuff. Is they're they're what? Magic the Gathering. It's they're getting they're getting Commander Warhammer card decks coming out. So I wonder if they have a crossover with D and D at some point. Maybe. I thought they already kind of had Magic the Gathering. No, Warhammer. Oh, Warhammer. Magic yeah. the Gathering and D and D already had a crossover. Oh. Yeah, saying. aren't they made by the same people? Yeah, yeah. Wizards of the Coast. Okay, that's what I, I don't know about who makes, War, who makes I Warhammer. Know. I don't know. 
Uh, don't know. I've never been. A you didn't know the Magic it's the too Gathering. Too expensive for my blood. And I hate making minis <laughs> and painting minis. Oh, okay. So yeah, there's, there's Warhammer 40k, and then there's just Warhammer. Yeah, which there's a bunch of variations. What's of Warhammer. 40k? 40. It's like, the year 40,000. 40, oh, okay. I know yeah, that it doesn't actually say 40k. Space. It's Warhammer 40,000, but people yeah. call it 40k. 40k is when the space crap happens, right? Okay, that's what I thought. I just they, have uh, really long eyebrows. I I've heard stuff about Warhammer. Like I th I think somebody went to college. It may have been Hans. Went to college with some guy that was super into that and just had like thousands of minis. Yeah. Like that's that's the game. D and D yeah. or D and D is about creating one character and focusing on that. Warhammer is you have create armies. an army. You yeah. focus on your army. Yeah, and there are armies aplenty, yeah. crazy amounts. Hmm. Let's see, what else? Is, uh, they come out with a new race called the Ardlings or something. It's like the opposite. It's it's somehow, it's, what, it's an Asimar, but it's not. No, it's <laughs> not an Asimar. It's, it should be. Like, it's supposed to replace the Asimar, but also replace all the beast races at the same time. Yeah. It's stupid. It's, it's celestials that have animal features. Mm -hmm. So you can, you, can, you can be a dog person. Uh, you can be a monkey person. I was person. watching a review... I don't have a problem with the beast inclusion, but what they should have done is divided it up like they divided up tiefling. Now there's now a, ver a variant of tiefling for each of the three uh, yeah. lower lower planes. They did. Ardlings have three different. Do they have three? I guess I just have. I guess maybe maybe that maybe this was a playtest before more was released. Tell, tell but, me about this tiefling thing. Tiefling, there's, there's I don't know the three. There's a there's a hell tiefling, a an abyss tiefling, and whatever the third one is called. And they just get different spells. <laughs> Now this guy actually knows quite a bit about one D and D, so he, he he should join this conversation. Tiefling. Um. Um. But yeah, so I didn't know they did that with the Ardling as well. That was kind of the whole. I, I don't know. I don't want the Asimar to disappear. I don't think it is because they did they they might have give it three. The, I don't know. I, I haven't heard anything about it yet. Uh, Asimar, that is is that um. It is a playable character that is celestial. Is that what it is? Basically, it's the descendant or child of a celestial. Yeah, it's an angel. Same with Ardling. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, in the Monster Handbook, under Angels, there's... Uh, there are, they're not listed in that, are they? I think if, if you wanted to compare the two, Ardling is just Celestial Child, and there's a lot of Celestials, whereas Asimar typically are purely angelic. Oh, okay. okay. Maybe See, Archons, because Archons look angelic, even though they aren't. Ar Archons are all about law. They don't care about good. They care. Well, they do, but they're like they're like paladin celestials. Now, what we were just talking about grappling and all that. Why don't you come get on our mic? Hop on a mic. What are you even doing right now? Why would you sit over? <laughs> That was what Dustin was doing. I'm not sitting in a chair. I'm going to kneel down at the table. The chair squeaked last time. <laughs> yeah, just come over here, Ryan. There's a mic. The, this one. This one at least. Yeah, it was. We had to throw it away. It broke. I think it was breaking anyway. Oh, I think that's what the squeak was. It just it fell apart one day. I don't know why it didn't fall apart while he was sitting in it. It just fell apart Tension. one day. <laughs> I guess tension holds it it's holding about it. like when somebody gets pinned by a car up against something you move the car they're dead you keep it there <laughs> oh, and like they can in at science. least give you their last mil, their last will and testament like signs is that so what? that happened in signs I didn't know let's see what else what else is in 1D&D &D? now what I was gonna, uh, everything you just talking about grappling and stuff they've done away with like they've they're changing the rules on grappling and contested stuff like that that's it's all part of unarmed strike now. So I guess monks just got a massive upgrade, which is cool for monks because everyone says monks are really weak. But like, so on an unarmed strike as a bonus action, Kyle could technically try to trip someone or shove someone and stuff like that as part of his. Own. That uh, that tavern brawler cool. character you had, if he comes back, he'll get a big yeah. buff too. Yeah. Uh, yeah, the feat system though, I'm super excited about because I mean, feats are weak in fifth edition right now. No, just, well. There's three or four good ones. There's like, yeah, there's a handful of you have to take this if you. There's not enough feats. There's about to be a lot more feats. That's cool. I like that. Um, the long range version of Great Weapon Master is sniper, sharpshooter, sharpshooter. I mean, it's, it's Warcaster situational. It depends on who you are. I have it, but there's some of those that like it's a really cool ability that you get, but then it's like I can't. I waste a whole feat on that. Like the. Uh, 
where you can take spells out of any you class and stuff expert? like that. M- magic initiate. Yeah, yeah those are yeah. like Big a waste man. to me. What's like, like you're gonna use a whole you use a whole feat to get a couple spells. Yeah, and not anything above points. first level, which is understandable. But I would it would be cooler if you could build up to eventually get. Like I mean, I understand not 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 passing third or fifth level depending on what you're doing, but. I don't know. It would just be cool because there are a lot of uh, a lot of spells that don't really make you a powerhouse, but would still be fun to have. Yeah, I think it's going to be better. I, like three point five's feats were really good. I like so it. basically, we're 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 on board with it. I am definitely on board. I, I like, okay. it. like I said, I hope we'll to see. finish I haven't this game looked at we, it. But before one D and D truly drops, because I would like to surely, like, surely we can finish. Yeah. Surely we'll be done by twenty twenty four. Yeah, I like. I mean, I think Pathfinder Two is looks good too. I mean, I would like I, to try that. I think that Fifth Editions is stealing a whole bunch from Pathfinder Two. Well, any thing is right out of their their yeah. stuff. The movie you pointed out is even stealing stuff from Pathfinder. <laughs> <laughs> their intellect devour. They actually took the art from. <laughs> Dude, I can't wait to see that movie though. It looks really good. Yeah, I think a lot. Of, no, I just hope just it's not movie. like Warcraft. Listen, listen. Bad. You guys talk about how bad it was, but it. It really did well overseas. All right? <laughs> it did. It blew up in China. I I kind of liked it. I liked it. But it wasn't that bad. It was just Warcraft. 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 It's not that it was a bad movie. It was a bad movie for anyone that didn't go in there wanting it to be a good movie. <laughs> that's not good. I think that's a- <laughs> I mean, if you didn't go in there, I don't think I even understood that. (laughs) If you didn't go in there as a Warcraft fan or a fan or fan of fantasy, then you're not going to walk away saying, "Wow, that was so cool!" Can you believe they name dropped one of the paladins from the Warcraft game? Holy crap! See, that's the thing. I was never really invested in Warcraft Warcraft. lore, so I was just like, "Oh, this is really cool." I bet you that's an important person. Yeah, I I know enough about it to know that was a name drop. How cool! I (laughs) talked to my buddy who is a Warcraft fan. He's like, "Yeah, he talked about one of the big." Big persons in the future, or the, the ruined king. Woo! Go Death Knights. Oh, dude, it it cracks me up that I just suddenly I'm seeing uh, the Wrath of the Lich King commercials on YouTube. Right <laughs> yeah. That is so funny because that's like right when I started playing World of Warcraft is yeah. when Lich King came out. That's right when I wanted to start playing, but it's I actually boring. looked up the year because I was like, "What is this? 2008?" Because that's what year that yeah. first dropped. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and they're redropping it in 2022. <laughs> You know why? Because their biggest servers are all is the classic legacy world. servers where nothing went past yep. certain versions. Because yeah. a lot of people are Burning Crusade and a lot of people are Wrath of the Lich King. Wrath of the Lich King. I, I, always, I heard that Cataclysm was kind of where it started dropping yeah. off. And the pandas. And the pandas. <laughs> pandas were after. And then Warlords of Draenor. Hey, hey. Pan, uh, well, Kung Fu Panda did so well. World of Warcraft's like, we need pandas, y'all. Yeah, that's the thing. That's exactly. That's yeah. exactly how I saw yeah. it. It's, it yeah. yeah, it's what it felt like. It's what it was. The executives were like, panda races are stupid. Have you seen Kung Fu Panda? Goes home, watches it, comes the next day. Panda races. <laughs> <laughs> all right, we need Shreks now. Put Shreks in. I want all Shreks. We already have Ogre, sir. My God, we're ahead of the curve. Oh. Orcs, orcs. <laughs> That's true. That's funny. Uh, are there not Anything else? In, in let's play some D and D. Is what I said. Yeah. Let's get some chili. Well, in let's the get D&D. some chili, and then we'll play some D and D. All right. Hey, thank yeah. you for tuning in. Yeah. Check out Tiger Skull RPG. Tiger Skull RPG. Follow us on Twitch. On Twitch. Follow us on Instagram. Insta. Let us know in the comments of something. Should, oh, should I have killed Corvus? Commoners 30 <laughs> is still happening. Commoners 30, 30% oh, off yes. everything at TigerSkullRPG.com. At least go get like a cool shirt. I mean, come on, support the I brand. You're going to go somewhere else. At least get like a cool shirt. Hey, AJ, can you, can you take our graphic and then put it on a shirt? I could. I've been thinking about it, but I don't <laughs> think anybody would buy it. It would just be us. I would that buy it. <laughs> what's our graphic? Our, oh, what's on the podcast? Yeah, yeah, our podcast art. I think uh, that'd be a cool shirt. I don't know if hey, I'm have y'all seen Ryan's on there now? Yeah, but for funny, just Ryan's get, looking get the sexy one, in that art. I want to get the one before. The only Ryan's place I've on. seen the art is on Twitch. I haven't seen it on Instagram. It's on. Yeah, it's on Twitch. I know I have it there. I'm gonna yeah, get the one didn't before Ryan Instagram. was there, and then give him that shirt. <laughs> no, the one, with, the one with Darren on it. He's the intern. <laughs> okay, I'm shutting it down. He's the intern. See you later.